I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. We know you missed us dearly last week, but we're back, this time with the latest controversy about hypermyeline. A new cell phone ban in two states, and a company that wants you to fuel your car with algae. So sit back. And buckle up. You're watching Cars Cast Weekly. Cell phone addicts in Washington and California, beware. On July 1st, both states banned using a handheld device while driving. Drivers can now only talk using hands-free devices like Bluetooth headsets and speakerphones or face fines. This comes despite the fact that studies have shown that it's the conversation and not the phone that distracts drivers. So we want to know what you think. Is any type of phone conversation safe while driving? Let us know by emailing editor at cars.com. Lindsay, everyone knows that gas prices are soaring, climate change may spell impending doom, and politicians are still seen as slimy. Well, not as slimy as one company's new fuel alternative. Right you are. California's Solozyme has effectively developed a biodiesel derived from algae that meets the American Society for Testing of Materials D975 specification. You know algae has the green stuff that grows in your pool when you forget to add the chlorine. Yes, Stephen, I was reading my American Society for Testing and Materials spec manual at the beach, but maybe you could explain this to our viewers? Yeah, I guess. This basically means that Solozyme's biodiesel isn't blended like ethanol E85 or biodiesel B20. It can go right into a diesel tank and is compatible with the current system. Even better, because it comes from algae, the process is carbon neutral and does not affect food prices the way that ethanol does. Sounds promising. Speaking of fuel efficiency, some states are offering to buy low-mileage, high-polluting clunkers from lower-income residents in order to get them into newer, more fuel-efficient cars. Texas is offering $3,500, and California is offering up to $1,500 to retire cars at fail emissions tests. To find out more, visit our blog, Kicking Tires. Okay, Lindsay, I was going to just read this last story about hypermiling like we usually do, but then I got a really good idea. What's that? Well, I'm going to use the rest of this month's budget to make a short film in the form of French Impressionist cinema. No, I don't think that'll be happening. Uh, well, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Hypermyeline. The practice of conserving fuel with certain driving techniques. Techniques that can be dangerous, so cold, so dark. Is human emotion the broken shards of a fallen vase? Hypermyeline. It is to draft off another vehicle on the highway, to roll through stop signs, to cruise down hills in neutral, to avoid the latent pain of an unfulfilled existence. AAA warns that hypermyeline practices can endanger lives. So cold, so dark. Rosebud. Red carpet, here I come, baby. Yeah. First of all, Stephen, that was nothing close to the stylistic paradigm of French Impressionist cinema. The camera work, the mise-en-scene, I, I can't even... Never mind. Here's Mike Haley trying to turn around in a smart car in our clip of the week. Maneuvering on the narrow streets of Chicago can be a chore if your car has a large turning circle. Thankfully, the smart's turning circle is rather small at about 29 feet, and that can mean the difference between having to do a three-point turn or whipping around in a tight U-turn. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. And until next time, keep those spark plugs a sparkin'. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.